Vivo has been around the country for some years now, churning out devices for all the markets, from the high end to the mid range and the budget segment. The latest device to hit the Kenyan market is the Vivo Y53 S that just launched. From TechWiz, I'm Richard Okenye with the Vivo Y53 S unboxing and full review. Let's take it and go. Y53S is Vivo's new mid-range smartphone and packs quite the features which I'll be doing in this review. But before we go into all of that, let's take a look at what comes in the box. First, you get the warranty and a user guide, you get the SIM ejector tool, a pair of earphones, a 33 watt power brick pad with a Type-C charging cable, a transparent phone case and finally you get the phone. The first thing that you notice when you pick this device is how compact it is. With a fantastic rainbow color option, you get an iridescent back. But with our deep sea blue unit, the hue shimmers and changes in the light. I came to realize that the back though beautiful, it is a magnet for fingerprint smudges and that doesn't look so good. So you'll need to slap a case on it. But moving on quickly to the cameras. At the top left corner, you get the camera island that features the 64 megapixel triple camera setup that includes a two megapixel macro a 2 megapixel depth sensor and an LED flash. At the bottom, we have the headphone jack, the microphone, the bottom facing speaker, and of course, the Type-C charging port. To the side, we have the volume buttons and next to it is the power button which doubles up as the fingerprint reader. Now, the fingerprint reader is quick and responsive, we have tested. And since we are on security, you also have the option to use the face unlock that is equally as fast as the fingerprint reader. At the top, is where we have the SIM card slot and the secondary microphone. Coming to the front is the 6.5 inch LCD screen slightly interrupted by the notch that houses the 16 megapixel selfie camera. Overall, the Y53S feels great in my hand as it fits more easily, making it possible to use the phone with one hand and a lot of you are going to love that. The bottom speaker paired with a high resolution LCD screen makes watching videos a high quality experience. There is no high refresh rate here, sadly. However, the display is bright and delivers vibrant colors and crisp details even outdoors. So you'll be able to browse your favorite websites and social media platforms when you're out and about. If you're down for some entertainment, you will genuinely enjoy watching movies or TV shows or simply YouTube on the Y53S. The smartphone comes with good audio and a lovely screen to accompany that. Vivo Y53S comes with 128GB storage and 8GB RAM with the option to use up to 3GB of idle onboard storage that can be used as an extended RAM. Pretty handy, you'll have to agree on that one. Vivo Y53S is powered by Android 11 and Funtouch OS 11.1. Let's get to Funtouch OS, which is Vivo's tech on Android, which is now more refined. What do I mean? It is highly customizable and doesn't feel overly busy it also comes with handy features. The user interface is cleaner, featuring flatter icons. Additionally, there is more empty space between visual elements and neutral colors. Funtouch OS comes with features like Ultra Game Mode, S Capture to make screen capture more efficient, Eye Manager, Security Scan, AI Editor, and the fun nifty animations under dynamic effect, among a host of other features to customize your phone. Overall, the Vivo Y53S is powerful enough for my day-to-day -day tasks as it was never overwhelmed by multiple web browsers or all-day music streaming or even when I was quickly switching in between multiple applications. Games are also handled pretty well, whether that was on heavy games like Asphalt 9 or really simple games like Ninja Arashi. In terms of performance, the Vivo Y53S measured up and the RAM and that processor combo will handle all your day-to-day -day usage with ease. How does the Vivo Y53S handle photography, you ask? I'm glad you didn't. The cameras are clearly capable of taking good photos. I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of photos the phone took. In abundant light, you are bound to get really bright and vibrant photos to share with family, friends, or even to post on social media. In low light, the images are decent enough and boy, when you whip out the night mode, quality improves and you get brighter photos as seen in our samples. When it came to selfies, performance was both 
a hit and a miss. The 16 megapixel camera struggled with exposure and selfies came out with a bit of muted colors. So there is some improvements that Vivo needs to be doing here. For video, this is what you get. Video recording capped at 1080p, shooting 30 FPS. Time lapse video capped at 720p, while slow mo video is also capped at 720p while shooting 120 FPS. Videos are also decent enough for sharing. However, a steady mode and the ability to shoot 4K would have been handy as other smartphones in this price category already offer these features. But it is what it is, so we move. Keeping the lights on with the Vivo Wi-Fi 3S is a 5000 mAh battery and a 33 watt fast Type-C charging. For day in day out use, the Wi-Fi 3S does fine and the battery lasted through the end of the day. You could get a full work day out of this device without the need to plug it in. I was getting close to like 8 hours with heavy use. When you need to juice it up, the Wi-Fi 3S has incredible fast charging. In under an hour and a half, you could go from empty all the way to full battery. This is fast enough for you to leave the phone unplugged overnight and just maybe charge it up in the morning before you leave your house. Clearly, Vivo created a sophisticated device with the Y53 S that has all the things that truly matter, quite literally, in the palm of your hands. And what are you getting? Excellent performance, capable cameras, a well-designed smartphone, and dependable battery life. Who wouldn't want that? Pricing and availability details will be linked in the description box below. And that's it from Master Tech Quiz. We done take it. Now you go.